What's up hockey fans, welcome back to another video, and today guys, we're going to be jumping in with some breaking news coming from the NHL and coming from the Boston Bruins organization. The Boston Bruins have just signed goaltender Yaroslav Halak to a one-year contract extension with a hit cap hit of $2.25 million. Halak, who turns 35 later this month, making him eligible for performance bonuses in their contract as well, there is a $1.25 million bonus for 10 games played. So let's talk about this contract with the Boston Bruins just gave to Yaroslav Halak. Now, personally, I think it's a great contract because when you actually look at Yaroslav Halak's numbers this season, he actually had a really, really good season for a backup. And it's really important in the NHL if you're a comp competing team for the for the Stanley Cup, you want to have a good goaltending tandem. You don't want to have a, a starting goaltender get drained, especially going into the playoffs. So having that backup goaltender is key. And Yaroslav Halak had a very good year for a backup goaltender at his age. When you look at his stats for this season, he had 18 wins six losses with a save percentage of 919 and a goals against of 239 which is a little high but it's also considering he had 18 wins he's pretty good for the wins because that's what really matters when you come down to it when you're a backup goaltender yeah you might let in more goals than a starter you're probably expected to let in more goals than a starter but what really matters is how many wins you can actually get your team if you can play and rely on your goaltender especially a backup for a steady amount of wins close to maybe even 20 to 25 wins that's being like really really a lot and that's almost splitting it when you think about how many games a backup goaltender will actually play when you if you're expected to win closer to that amount of games you're splitting your role so that's kind of when you have a good tandem and that's kind of what Boston was able to have this year they were very lucky to be able to have that because of how well Halak Halak played in the 31 games that he played this year so overall a really really good year for Yaroslav Halak and I don't think there's a really bad con this is not a bad contract at all and if I'm a Boston Bruins fan I'm really really happy with this contract when you look at the available goaltenders for backups on the open market this year there's not a lot as a Jets fan we're losing Lawrence Bossois at the end of the season he's becoming an unrestricted free agent we are looking at that and he's, even though he had a bad season this year to compare to what he was a few years ago you know he might be a guy we bring back just because there's not that much on the market and to get a guy like Halak for Boston who's already a team that just missed out on winning the cup last season it's a great to keep it's great to keep that tandem together and the best thing about this contract is the term it's only a one-year extension and even at his age at 35 it's not really a really risky deal if you're gonna give a player a contract especially a goaltender and a player up in age and you who's had a really good coming off a good year but he's older the best contract you can give him out is a one-year deal maybe two and that's even pushing it there but at one years at this at this value I think it's a steal for Boston I really do because you have a guy a goaltender that you can rely on for 30 to 35 games and who can get you uh, who's shown that he can get 20 wins consistently as a backup goaltender you know um, the season before this in Boston he had 22 wins and then the season prior with the Islanders, he had a 20-win season. And this year, he only had 18. But that's, of course, with the shortened year, he probably would have been up near 20 again. So for the consistent numbers in the last three years in the NHL, I definitely think giving out a contract to a guy who's going to be 35 in this month is a great contract for Boston. And Boston Bruins fans should be ecstatic. This is just another signing that you guys are keeping for depth to help push and get yourself ready for that one more run. Just because you guys lost out on the last final and last season doesn't mean that you guys aren't out of it yet. So this is something that you should be really excited about and get excited for the next coming on season and when the season is not unsuspended and we get back to hockey this is a great thing to have moving forward for your team so an overall a really really good signing for Boston a good affordable signing for a player who is older in age but there's no risk with this contract it's a high risk low and um, low risk high reward situation um, because of the contract value at one year 2.25 you can't really beat that for the value you're gonna get out of him so overall I think it's a fantastic contract I think Boston did a hell of a job in getting him signed I think it's important to have a good backup goaltender in the NHL they have one now for the next coming up season and that's really important so overall I definitely think this is an A-plus signing for Boston to keep a good solid backup goaltender behind an already Vezina caliber starter in Tuka Rass. so overall a fantastic signing by Boston and I think it's going to really help you guys out next season so overall I give this signing a A I think it's going to really really help Boston moving forward next season and once the season resumes for the playoffs just to have him you know as already a backup to continue moving on forward with him as a backup for next season overall a great signing by Boston and I'm looking forward to see what Halak can do with coming next season. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel and you just came across this video browsing around on YouTube, I make all types of hockey video related to NHL and of course to the Winnipeg Jets. So if any of that type of stuff interests you, consider subscribing. Comment down below if you're a Boston fan, if you're a hockey fan, what your thoughts are on the signing. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Take care, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.